called After Chicago. He keeps seeing her there, wearing a blue shirt. Though he knows that he was the one wearing the blue shirt. That somehow, in his mind, he has taken her shirt off and put his shirt on her. Which makes him wonder whether he's really in love with her or just the image of himself next to her. Whether his desire for her is really just desire for her desire of him. But that's silly, he thinks. You wanted her the first time you saw her. But simply because he found her so instantly desirable does not mean, he knows, that his desire has nothing to do with her conceived desire for him. Because if she hadn't looked at him that way in the coffee shop, if she hadn't turned on him that rapture of attention, bringing an edge of spirit to his body, then he wouldn't be so unable to forget her now, wouldn't keep calling her shape to mind out of the shoveling on of other shapes that has filled the time between that coffee shop and this. He flips the page of his book, flips it back. You're not in love with her, stupid. She's no different from any of these other girls walking through the door. It's just that you met her, had coffee with her, felt the possibility of touching her, almost kissed her. His mind goes blank as he tries to remember her expression during that moment. How close did he come before she pulled away? The shorter that distance, he realizes, the longer his desire will remember her trying to close that distance. And it is possible for him to see his entire life now as exactly the length of that distance, closing in physical space, expanding in memory. He looks down at his book, thumbs the remaining pages, then flips back to the page he was on, holding the book open before him like a tray for whatever vision walks through the door. And yet, he looks up. Just once, if I could close that distance, just once have someone I really wanted, who wanted me back at that same moment with the same amount of desire, then, oh then, he would know love as a shredding of the dull fabric of days. Fabric of restrooms and receipts, computer labs, <coughs> dentist offices, pipeline, wiring, fast food interiors. Desire in him remembers what tilted the self toward the brink, what brought it out, a blue lumina, into the current on the avenues, 